We're down here in the engine room. Before here, we used to have a pair of the Fiat 8 to 81 SRM 70 V8 set to 700 horsepower at 2200 RPM. Now, you see, this is the first pair in Australia of the new FPT Cursor 16 marine engines. These ones here are set down from 1000 horsepower at 2300 down to 815 horsepower at 2300. What that allowed us to do is we were able to reuse the existing twin disc gearboxes and allowed us to keep continue reusing the existing propeller shafts without worrying about any survey changes for this particular vessel. So you can see just how much space we have in this engine room. Uh, this is huge here really. We can work around the outside of the engines incredibly comfortable, not to mention just how much room we have in here. This has got to be one of the nicest commercial vessels on Australian waters in terms of just how well maintained and looked after these engines and the engine room is. So as I'll show you around a few just key points here in the middle, because I can show you basically either side of the engine right here. In terms of access points, oil filters are two spin-on cartridge filters right here, nice and easily. When the engine has been sitting, they do drain down, so they're not a particularly messy change being upside down filters. Uh, shortly set up underneath here will be the oil drains, which will be set up in a minute for both the engine drains and the gearbox drains and refills, all from the same pumps. The other components you see here will have dipsticks, which will shortly be both on the inner side for easy access. This here is the gearbox oil cooler. Incredible that Fiat have decided to incorporate that into the engine design, so there's no more gearbox oil cooler required on the back of the motor. Um, you can see here we've got one turbocharger, these are a whole set turbocharger, the second one is around the back of the engine, uh, just on the rear. There's not a great deal more on this side of the engine, on the port side of the motor, really to be seen. It's a very low service point on this side. Flick over the port motor you'll see here, this is where we have our coolers. So, what you see initially here is our cooling system. So we've got our sea strainers at the rear, you see the pipe work coming through here, and they are a bronze impeller seawater pump tucked up and behind. Not like a rubber impeller. Not a serviceable pump on a regular basis, so that's why they're okay to be tucked away. Here we've got our beautiful charge air cooler. So both of our turbochargers feed through this boost pipe work here. They cool the air and then run straight in, uh, straight from the intake here into the intake manifold into the engine. The seawater, however, runs a really short run from here. Tucked straight in through from the pump in here through the intercooler, straight into the heat exchanger, which is just a beautiful one, nice and compact on the front here. Access point for cooling system check is on the top. And from there, the seawater runs straight down here through a fuel cooler, which is here, before it runs around the front of the motor. Now you pick up over here, straight through the gearbox oil cooler and out the back. Whilst we're talking on the front, you can see that there are additional components which have been fitted to these engines. Deck wash pump, additional house bank alternator on the starboard motor. And over on this side, where you've got the power steering pump down low, and we're shortly going to have a desal pump fitted as well. If you want to follow me down the back, yeah. so what we've got here is these are two custom mixers, which are not the factory FPT mixers. These have been designed to maximize the height within the engine room to ensure that these mixers have as much height as possible. And then they dive down directly into these fiberglass pong boxes. Now you'll see that we are running a 10 inch exhaust system on both sides. Uh, allows for absolutely ample exhaust flow, which does two very important things. It keeps our back pressure down by allowing both the exhaust gas and the water to discharge easily. And secondly, it keeps our exhaust gas temperatures down, which is very important. From here, the pong box fills up and we've got two 10 inch pipes straight out the back of the vessel. Actually with the lids down, incredibly quiet engines. So uh, you can see our sea strainers here. These engines are hard mounted. You can see how the mounts have been set up here. We're hard mounted off the gearbox, tied into the rear mounts, and of course the front mounts, which means we only have four mounts per engine, which makes for a very easy install, especially considering we reused gearboxes off the old 700 horsepower uh, V8 Iveco's, made for a very easy installation in regards to picking up existing mount points.